Welcome back to Going Beyond the Home. My name is Samantha Marker and I serve the amazing people of Southwest Florida. Today, we're talking all about buying the right house at the right price point in the right neighborhood that you love. If you're anything like most of my buyers, you've likely had your eye on your ideal neighborhood for some time now. Maybe you've taken drives through it or maybe you've even walked down the streets or toured a few houses and we are still waiting on your dream home. But sometimes that dream house might not be the best investment. In this video, I'll explain why. Here's the thing about houses. Although they are places where we make our nests, they are also massive investments, often the biggest investment you'll ever make. So despite the warm fuzzies that come with the idea of the home, you will still wanna look at it as an investment, which means resale value should always stay top of mind. So it's important to consider the following. Number one, buyers want mid-range homes. A lot of people want that big, expensive home but they know the mortgage that comes with it. So many people compromise with a lower price home in their ideal neighborhood. This means that there are more buyers looking for mid-range homes. And when demand goes up, so do the prices. So this is why mid-range homes often command a higher price per square foot than bigger homes in the same neighborhood. Number two, your home value is determined by the homes around you. If you have the least expensive home in the neighborhood, the other homes will actually drive your home value up. But the opposite is also true. If you have the most expensive house, the other homes will drive your home value down. This is another reason why mid-range homes tend to have a higher price per square foot than the fancier homes down the street. Number three, your home will be harder to sell in tough times. If the market shifts, and it does about every seven years, you may be stuck at the top of the market in your area. When times are tough, buyers will opt for a less expensive home in hopes of getting a better deal. There are consequences with this. What happens if you don't have a good agent? If you're working with an agent, it's imperative that they understand the importance of resale value. If you're thinking of buying a home, I can show you what characteristics to look for in order to help you get the maximum resale value if you sell down the road. At this point, you may be convinced that you may need some guidance around the area of resale values, perhaps buying the right home or selling your current home. But you may also be thinking that you have no idea where to start. If you're thinking about making a move, I can help you through the process. Just send me a message or text me at 239-849-7953. No pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. Finally, if you're a resident of Southwest Florida, I wanna let you know that I'm here to help you. Please feel free to post any questions, comments, or concerns in the chat box. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you on the next episode.